Hello, you are welcome to another basic technology class. Today's topic is plane figure. My name is Akiandi Bambo and I'm your instructor for today's lesson. Before we move on, let's look at the learning objective. In today's lesson, we will learn the following. One, the definition of plane figure. Two, the identification of regular plane figure. Three, construction of regular plane figure with equal area. Four, determination of areas of regular plane figure. And five, enlargement and reduction of plane figure. What is plane figure? A plane figure is a flat figure with close line that stays in the straight line. A plane figure can be made can be made of straight line, curved line, or both straight and curved line. Example are triangle, rectangle, square. Rhombus, parallelogram, circle, over, arc, pentagon, hexagon, and likewise, semicircle. With this understanding, we now ask what is regular plane figure? A regular plane figure is that figure with all the sides equal and the inside angle are equal. Example are equilateral triangle, regular polygon, square. As you can see in the diagram, more of the example of regular polygon and plane figures. Without understanding, let's move on to the next subtopic, construction of regular plane figure with equal areas. To construct a equilateral triangle ABC with side equals to 60 millimeter, the first thing will draw an horizontal line of any convenient length and mark of a b to be 60 millimeter we use our compass to measure 60 millimeter on our met meter row place use a as our center and draw an arc likewise with on b to draw another arc at the point of the intersection we will label it c then we will now join c to a and b and that gives us our equilateral triangle with all sides equal. Second, let's construct a square given the length of sides. First, we we'll also draw a line, a horizontal line of a convenient and mark AB to be 50 millimeter. Construct a right angle at B, that is a perpendicular line to AB at point B, with B at the center and radius AB, draw an arc to cut the perpendicular line at C. With B and C in turn, and the same radius draw arc to intercept at D. Join CD and AD to complete the required square and we have a perfect square. We can also do that for our regular polygon, hexagon, and likewise our circle, which is very simple. Having this understanding, let's look at the areas of regular polygon, the area of regular plane figures. One, the area of a triangle is our base times height, where B is equal to the base and H is equal to our vertical height. And our square is area of a square is a square, meaning that all the sides are equal. And three rectangle, rectangle. The area of a rectangle is width times height, where W is our width and our H is our vertical height. Four parallelogram. Parallelogram is the area of a parallelogram is B times H, where B is our base and H is our height. Five the trapezium. The area of a trapezium is half bracket a plus b times h where b is our base and h is our vertical height six the circle the area of a circle is pi r square and the circumference of a circle is two pi r where r is our radius which is half of the diameter seven sector the area of a sector is half r square times theta where r is our radius Theta is the angle suspended by the arc in, radi in radian. Eight, ellipse. 
the area of an ellipse is pi a b having this understanding let's quickly add, solve a few questions before we, to show our understanding of the formulas one what is the area of rectangle the formula for a rectangle is width times height and our width is given to be five where our height is given to be three therefore area equals to five times three which is equal to 15. question two what is the area of a circle where r where our radius is given to be three and the formula for circle is pi r squared therefore pi r times three raised to power two which is pi r times that is three times three which is nine where our pi is given to be three point one four one five nine times nine we approximate our answers to two decimal places therefore the answer is going to be is 28.7 the third example to test our knowledge of the areas of plane figures what is the area of triangle given that the height is 12 and the base is 220 so and the area of a triangle is half base times height given therefore half times 20 times 12 and by the time you use your calculator the answer is equal to 120. this understanding we can solve any is any uh, problem that has to do with area of a plane figures the, once you have the formula you just insert it and you get your answer then we'll move on to the next subtopic enlargement of plane figure enlargement of plane figure is carried out in proportion or ratio of what is given that is whatever we are giving is what we determine what to what extent they want us to increase the plane figure for example enlargement of square abc to six for, to six from four that is ratio of six to four the first thing we do is to draw a square of no specific dimension at a draw a convenient angle and divide it into six equal parts draw draw point b to b uh, or to b at point six draw a parallel line to or b to meet a b produced at b1 then five the fifth step is radiate line at ac and ad produce that is you draw a line to, to cut extend line ad and you extend line ac at all the points from c draw vertical line to join b1 c1 and now draw a horizontal line to connect to b1 and as simple as that that is you have enlarged the square to the new to the new value given this understanding let's look at reduction of plane figures it's just reverse unlike the enlargement is to reduce it shrink it to a smaller size and to go through this procedure is the almost the same procedure rather than extending the line here we have drawn the line we divide it and the example for example we are told to reduce triangle abc in proportion of five to eight so the first thing we'll do is to draw a given triangle abc draw any convenient angle at ap and divide it into eight equal parts join the point a to b like we have done in the diagram draw a perpendicular line from point b to a b to cut at b1 draw a line parallel to line bc from point b1 to join line ac at point c1 to acquire the required reduction and the darker triangle is just is the new 
size of the triangle as required by the question above. So we can do the same for polygon, hexagon, circle, and trapezium. So it's as simple as that. And to this, for this, we have come to the end of today's class. Now, before we go, let's look at what we have learned today. At the end of today's class, we have been able to define the definition of plane figure. We have been able to identify regular plane figure, know how to construct plane figure, have the knowledge and how to find the area of plane figure. And lastly, we now know how to enlarge and reduce plane figure. So you can see it's as simple as ABC. But before we go, let's quickly look at some questions to test our knowledge of what we have learned today. Question one, what is plane figure? Mention five regular plane figure figures you know. Question three, find the area of a triangle ABC where B is equal to eight and, a, and H is equal to 12. Question four, find the area of a circle with diameter 16 centimeter given that pi is equal to 3.14 and the, pi, if the fifth question construct an equilateral triangle abc with ab equals to sentence centimeter and if you have answered this question please send you can send all your inquiries and answer to us at gmo at edufresh.ng thank you and see you in the next class